What's up guys, I wanted to test a new benchmark that's recently been released. It's called 3D Mark. I'm gonna run it on the Nexus 4, the HTC One, and the Samsung Galaxy S3. My Nexus 4, by the way, guys, is back to stock, so there's no funny business going on. HTC One and Galaxy S3 are stock as always. Now, there's a few things I wanna tell you about this benchmark. One of the main things is that it's actually gonna be compatible with both Apple iOS and Windows. And what that means, guys, is we actually have a comparable benchmark that we can use and bench across the different OSs and see which performs the best. At the moment, it's only available on Android, but it will be available on iOS and Windows pretty damn soon. That's gonna be quite exciting. The other thing that's uh, decent about this benchmark, guys, is that the tests are actually rendered to an off-screen buffer, and then they're upscaled to the native resolution of the screen. So what this means, guys, is you can actually compare directly the results from each device, even if one, say, has a 720p screen versus a 1080p screen. It's not gonna make a difference because they're both, the, the tests are actually rendered to an off-screen buffer. They're all running at the same resolution, and then they're upscaled to the actual display. So uh, that is, again, kind of cool. So let's just get into this, guys. We'll just uh, run these. I'll just make sure everything's closed out in my uh, recent apps for each device here. And here we go. And here we go. Let's just uh, start these up. Nice interface here, guys, as well. You can see these are the two tests. Run Ice Storm is the uh, 720p run, and obviously the extreme one is the 1080p that has more effects. So the first one we're gonna run, guys, is the uh, the normal 720p one. We'll just hit go at these. There we go, and they're off. Nexus 4 first. HTC One and the Galaxy S3 a little bit behind, but uh, I could have pressed that slightly earlier, who knows. Let's just turn these around. So like I said, this is a brand new benchmark and it pretty much just tests your graphics performance the good thing about it being a new benchmark, guys, is that it's gonna be up to date with all the drivers and stuff like that, so we should see which has the best performing device. First thing to note, HTC One was first to start, Nexus 4 behind it, Galaxy S3 last. Not surprising considering, you know, it's a year old device. I'll just let these play for a bit, guys. I'll just cut back in here, guys, before I switch to the results. And uh, so far, I can tell you that the uh, HCC one is in front, and so is the Nexus 4. I don't know what's happened over here. I think it actually crashed out on my uh, Galaxy S3. So I'll run this again. I'm not quite sure why that is. But uh, you could definitely see in the video that the uh, Galaxy S3 was struggling with this. It is rendered at 720p as well, guys. So uh, yeah, we'll try and run this again over here. If it doesn't run again, I'll leave it and just leave it between these two. But uh, here they go. Okay, guys, and the HTC One and the Nexus 4 is finished. Like I said, my Galaxy S3 did kind of crash, so we'll see if it uh, carries on. I can tell you the scores, though. The HTC One comes in at 11,001. The Nexus 4 comes in at 11,429. So the Nexus 4 did actually beat the HCC One here. Interesting considering the uh, Nexus 4 has the uh, S4 Pro. The HCC One has the um, the S the S600, the S4 600. That's the one with the 1.7 gigahertz CPU. Saying that they both have the same GPU. The scores are pretty much very close. We'll have a look at the breakdown once the uh, Galaxy S3 is done here, if it finishes anyway. Okay guys, so the Galaxy S3 has once again crashed out of the test. It won't go past that first test, so we can't get a result. So I'm just gonna move this one aside. Kind of disappointing considering, you know, I was excited to see what the Mali 400 could do on this. Nonetheless, let's check out the uh, HTC One and the Nexus 4. Bring these into view, and we can see how and where they score differently. So uh, here's the results, and here's the results here. And I don't know how, I'll zoom in so you can hopefully see this, guys. So let's just look at the graphics tests one and two for now. You can see that the uh, Nexus 4 actually scores higher than the HTC One, which is really interesting because, like I said, these were both rendered off screen and then the um, then they were upscaled to the native resolution. So interesting to see that the uh, Nexus 4 actually did win out here. Like I said, I am on stock ROM and stock kernel here, so there's no funny stuff going on. But um, yeah, in terms of actual scores, they are very close. And you know, this benchmark, like all benchmarks, 
can be a little bit funny. You know, I did run this before and it did actually outscore my Nexus 4. But in terms of this test, uh, the Nexus 4 did win out. Now let's uh, check out the list. There again, guys, you can see the difference in the uh, tests. Here's the example of what I was talking about. You can see my previous test on my HTC One scored 11,516, which again is above the Nexus 4 by a little bit. So you can see the uh, differences there. If we click into this, we can see the results. So it actually scored, well, but about 500 less points, which is kind of interesting. But even though it did, you can still see that um, the Nexus 4, if I click back into this, did actually beat it most of the graphics tests except the physics test. And the physics test is mainly a CPU test. And that actually kind of makes sense, guys, seeing that this has a stronger CPU. It has the 1.7 gigahertz CPU, whereas this has the 1.5. So it made sense that it actually scored higher. I'm not sure when, what went wrong in that last test, but nonetheless, there you go. So I will try running this test again, but uh, I'll, this time I'm going to do the extreme version, guys, which is the 1080p version. I will bring back in the uh, Galaxy S3, whether or not it will work. I don't know, but uh, let's run these. They're off. So the extreme version, guys, renders off screen at 1080p and has more effects as well. So it's just a lot more stressful. So uh, let's check these out again. You can see the HTC One is in the lead. Press the Galaxy S3 first. Nonetheless, that's that 1.7 gigahertz processor just winning out there. So this one guys, I'll skip. Okay guys, and once again, the HTC and the HTC One, sorry, and the Nexus 4 have moved on to the second test. The Galaxy S3 once again crashed out. So that's really disappointing. I couldn't see the score. What I can tell you is the uh, animations like these, you can see are pretty damn smooth. The ones on the Galaxy S3 were pretty damn jittery. So there was no way it was gonna beat out these two devices. Nonetheless, it's a little bit disappointing. We'll uh, get rid of this device and we'll skip to the results. Okay guys, the HTC One is done. Slightly followed behind by the uh, Nexus 4. Let's check out these results. We'll just uh, spin these around so it's easier okay, to see. Okay guys, so here's the results. The HTC One did just finish before the Nexus 4, but only by a hair. The scores tell a little bit of a different story. The HTC One scores 6,565. The Nexus 4 scores 5,896. This was the extreme test, guys, with the higher effects with the 1080p rendering. So uh, there you have it. The HTC One wins out in this test. We'll check out the details here just to see how well it does. And yeah, in this test, guys, the HTC One did actually beat out the Nexus 4 quite comfortably in pretty much all of these tests, especially, again, the physics test. It scores 10 more FPS, and I guess, again, that's down to the um, down to the 1.7 gigahertz Snapdragon 600 TPU versus the 1.5, but uh, there you have it. Both are very good, both are very strong and pretty much right at the top of the chain. If I go back to the results here. There you have it guys, these are the highest scores I've uh, achieved on both runs. And you can see the HCC one does beat the Nexus 4 in both. Not by an absolute ridiculous margin, the Nexus 4 definitely holds its own, it definitely has good graphics power. And that's what's good to tell from these graphics performance tests. Nonetheless, can't wait to test this out on like an iPhone or an iOS device and see how it differs from Android devices. Definitely test this benchmark out on your devices, guys. Peace out.